Money and football are now more related than ever. The sport has become so lucrative over time that it's not unusual to see many people go into it for the money that just so happens to come with the fame and lavishness enjoyed by players of the beautiful game. Even then, there are still a few people who've made it to our list from pure talent and expertise in the sport. Hello and welcome to today's video. We've compiled a list of the richest football players of all time. The world's best footballers have been some of the biggest earners around the globe, but in recent years, we've seen a dramatic increase in footballers' salaries, with some top dogs in the sport now living splendid lives. These days, European football clubs are willing to pay huge salaries to top quality players in the footballing world. Social media and endorsements also help in growing the already bursting pockets of these superstars. Three months ago, you'd have probably seen a different list, but as you already know, when it comes to football, anything can happen. Number one is so unexpected that we didn't even know who he was until we started compiling this list. But we did some digging and found out that he used to play for Leicester City but got released for underperforming. Now you're confused and probably wondering how someone who got sacked for underperformance could be number one on any list. Talk more of a list with Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi in it. Well, stick around to find out. We're kicking things off with number 10, Alexandre Pato, whose net worth is an impressive $140 million. Now, this guy is not very well known, but his net worth is significantly higher than players who are even more famous than he is. Take for example Liverpool's Mo Salah, who could have made our list with a $90 million net worth if this guy didn't exist. Indeed, Alexandre Pato's wealth is something to consider in a list of the wealthiest footballers of all time. Back when he first came into the limelight in 2006, the 16-year-old talent was perceived to be one of the finest talents in the football world. But the 32-year-old didn't quite live up to early expectations. Despite fleeting moments of brilliance in AC Milan, where he arguably played his best football, Pato could only find the net once during his stay at Chelsea. So how did he amass such wealth? He got a sizable amount from his contracts with AC Milan and his two-year stay in China, but the majority of his wealth comes from savvy investments, real estate holdings, and a lucrative endorsement deal with CoverGirl Cosmetics. The guy owns a chain of burger restaurants in Brasilia, a vodka brand, and a fashion line. Pato's net worth of $145 million dwarfs Gerard Piquet's $55 million and Jose Mourinho's $120 million. Our number 9 sees Pato's $140 million and raises him $20 million. The spot is occupied by Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima with a $160 million net worth. Not to be confused with CR7 Ronaldo. Back in his heyday, Ronaldo was well known as one of his era's most famous players for his antics on and off the pitch. He made a lot of money during his time from his fat salary and numerous endorsement deals. The Brazilian icon owns several houses in Brazil and America, including his luxurious Rio de Janeiro home and penthouse in Sao Paulo. Before he settled down with his girlfriend, the 44-year-old loved to throw parties and made plenty of headlines with his lifestyle in Madrid. Ex-defender El Guerra even admitted that he sometimes stuck around for the massive events. Apart from being the president of the parties, Ronaldo is also the president and majority owner of the La Liga club Real Valladolid. The three-time Ballon d'Or winner is the youngest to receive the award, having won his first at just 21 years old. He has achieved many great heights in his career through his skills on the pitch. Ronaldo joined Barcelona for a then world record transfer fee at just 20 years old and was also named 1996 FIFA World Player of the Year, making him the youngest recipient of the award. Inter Milan would later break the record fee to sign him in 1997, making him the first player since Diego Maradona to break the transfer record twice. Zlatan Ibrahimovic sits nicely on our number 8 spot with a humble nest egg of $190 million. Not too shabby for the prolific goal scorer. Zlatan has become known as one of the most entertaining sports personalities in the world. The AC Milan striker receives about $27 million in earnings from his club and an additional $5 million from endorsements. 
Back in May, AC Milan marked their first Serie A title in 11 years by welcoming each of their players onto the pitch, and Zlatan made sure he made the most of the occasion by smoking a huge cigar and spraying champagne. A few days ago, the 40-year-old proved that when you have money, you never have to grow up by buying himself a drone, which he posted on his Instagram for his 55 million fans to see. He captioned it, I see you, while giving viewers a good view of his yacht. He reportedly owns an $8 million Riva Corsaro yacht called The Unknown. The Swede machine loves to display his wealth and often shares pictures of his cars and holidays. One time, he upstaged Novak Djokovic with a rare $350,000 rainbow Rolex. Zlatan owns four Ferraris, a Porsche, and a Lamborghini Urus, with mansions on Lake Como, Italy, and Cheshire, England. But all this display of affluence pales in comparison to Neymar, who occupies our number seven spot with a net worth of $200 million. Neymar has established himself as football's biggest star after Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, who have dominated the sport for about a decade. The current PSG forward once represented Santos and FC Barcelona. He's won a host of major trophies at the club level, including Champions League, La Liga, and League One titles. The 30-year-old signed for PSG from Barca in August 2017 for a record-breaking $222 million transfer fee. The Brazilian striker made a big move off the pitch by swapping an 11-year-long deal with Nike for Puma for an incredible $105 million. Neymar has plenty of other contracts and endorsements to fund his luxurious lifestyle. He's recently worked with industry giants like Red Bull, Beats by Dre Electronics, MasterCard, DAZN, Electronic Arts, Gillette, and TCL. Neymar has also starred as himself in two films, Triple X, Return of Xander Cage, and Oz Parsas in 2017. He also played Manhei Zhao in the hit TV show Money Heist in 2019. The PSG man has a wide range of investments. All these have made his ownership of mansions in Bougival, Paris, and Sao Paulo, Brazil, a private jet, a helicopter, and a range of luxury cars, from a Lycan Hypersport to a Ferrari 458 Italia, seem like a walk in the park. Neymar's $200 million is nothing compared to Dave Whelan's $220 million net worth. The retired Englishman's wealth is not only linked to his soccer playing days at Crew Alexandra and the Blackburn Rovers, but also from ownership of Champions League Club, Wigan Athletic, and the JJB Sports Company. David Beckham is the fifth richest footballer of all time, with a staggering $400 million net worth. Over the years, the 46-year-old English midfielder has played for PSG, LA Galaxy, Manchester United, and Real Madrid while creating an unbeatable brand that has raked in money by the loads. Through this, Beckham has earned multiple endorsements throughout his career from brands like H&M, Adidas, L'Oreal, Tudor Watches, and Samsung and Breitling. He is also the current co-owner and president of MLS side Inter Miami and co-owner of Salford City. The former England captain and five-time Ballon d'Or winner bagged a whopping 150 million euros to become the face of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. The football icon turned fashion icon owns a Land Rover Defender, a Bentley, an Audi RS6, a Range Rover Sport, Cadillac, a 1994 Volkswagen Golf, and a Porsche, as well as luxury mansions in Holland Park, London, Cotswolds, England, Miami, and Dubai. He also owns a Bombardier Challenger 350 private jet that cost him a staggering 19 million euros. There are rumors that he's even wealthier than the Queen of England. Beckham, who retired back in 2013, shot to stardom and enjoyed most of his glory days playing for Manchester United and England. Messi comes in hot as number four, also with a net worth of $400 million. The seven-time Ballon d'Or winner has earned his wealth through several footballing contracts with PSG and Barcelona, where he stayed for 21 years. He supports his football income and proceeds from his clothing line, messy stores, endorsements, and deals with Socios and Adidas. 
The prolific forward's career could have ended when he was diagnosed with a growth hormone disorder at age 11, but he signed a contract with Barcelona, and as part of the agreement, Barcelona would pay for his medical treatment. The little man has come a long way since then, smashing records and blazing a trail of glory since he first burst into the international football scene. Click on this link to see part one of the making of the GOAT. Messi's great affluence means he has the opportunity to live a lavish life of luxury, with a parking lot full of supercars by big brands like Ferrari, Audi, Pagani, Zonda, Triclore, Maserati, Range Rover, Cadillac, and Mercedes. The 34-year-old professional goal scorer opts for the Embraer Legacy 650 as his jet of choice. The private jet cost him about 25 million euros. He also owns mansions on Camp Nou and Caste de Fels, Barcelona. Statistically, Messi may be the greatest of all time, but his wealth is just $100 million short of his greatest rival, Cristiano Ronaldo, who comfortably occupies our number three spot with a staggering $500 million net worth. Some have argued that Ronaldo is the number one player in the world. The former Juventus man, who recently returned to his teenage club Manchester United, gets a large chunk of his wealth from his football contracts and endorsement deals. Ronaldo has a bunch of sponsorships under his belt, such as Herbalife, Dazen, Clear, MTG, Garena Free Fire, American Tourister, Live Score, and Tag Heuer. His partnership with Nike started in 2003. In 2016, he became the third athlete to sign a lifetime deal with the brand. Only Michael Jordan and LeBron James have been given this opportunity before him. His value is estimated to increase by $13,000 per hour and $320,000 per day. Ronaldo is incredibly wealthy, and he knows how to spend his vast wealth. CR7 also has business establishments in Funchal and Lisbon, with others planned in locations around the globe. We could tell you that the 37-year-old Portugal captain owns an impressive collection of supercars, including an Aston Martin, three Ferraris, two Lamborghinis, a couple of Rolls-Royce, Bugattis, and McLaren cars, a Porsche, a Bentley, and several Audi and Mercedes, and we still would not be able to cover all his automobiles. The guy has over 20 expensive cars in his collection. His collection of mansions all over Europe is also exceptional. The house in Portugal is the most impressive of all, with three swimming pools and a football pitch as some of its incredible features. Ronaldo is the highest paid footballer in the world, which is evident from his long portfolio of income streams. But even then, he's still not as rich as these footballers who've earned our top two spots. Our number two spot goes to Matthew Flamini for a staggering $14 billion. But who is this? Matthew Flamini. And how did he become the wealthiest Arsenal player ever? Flamini is a former Marseille, Arsenal, and AC Milan midfielder who retired in 2016. He now makes the bulk of his wealth from GF Biochemicals, his biochemicals company which he co-founded in 2008. Not much is known about the former midfielder, but he's believed to own a Ferrari 458 Italia. If you thought 14 billion was a lot, you thought wrong, because our number one pick dwarfs Flamini with an extra six billion dollars. Yes, you heard right. Prince Faik Bolkia is the most valuable player in the world with 20 billion dollars. Prince Bolkia, who was once a midfielder for Leicester City before he got released for underperforming, is also the son of Brunei Prince Jeffrey Bolkia and an heir to a $200 billion fortune. The 24-year-old is the captain of the Brunei team and has so far played for Brunei six times and scored a goal. The Brunei captain, who started his footballing career at Newberry, had the opportunity to represent the American team but decided to play for his home country, Brunei. His uncle, Sultan Hassan al Bolkaya, one of the most affluent kings in the world, owns about 7,000 cars.